first ever hybrid closed loop hit an all-in-one CGM delivered over a decade post Libre. The InPen Smart Pen system a hit. A patch pump a miss. Metronic 780G a hit. Apple Watch integration six years post Dexcom. Over the last six years or so I have reported on many hits and misses from Metronic Diabetes and unfortunately today's video is about a miss. Hey, it's Camille, Narabetic, your diabetes tech guy. If you're new around here, I've been living with type 1 diabetes for well over 10 years and I've been YouTubing about diabetes tech for just over six. If you want to hang out and stay up to date on diabetes tech news, the good, the bad, the interesting, make sure you subscribe down below. EOFLOW is a patch pump that's already available in a number of countries distributed by Glucomen and it's known as the Glucomen patch pump. It's out in Belgium, Greece, Italy, Luxembourg, Spain, Sweden and Netherlands. It was just over six months ago when Metronic announced their intentions to acquire EOFLOW patch to have a complete suite of diabetes devices from a pen with the smart pen from InPen to a patch based on the EO patch pump and of course their flagship tubed line with 780G. Well, the patch bit, it failed. With Tandem's Moby patch pump getting clearance in the US, Kaleido relaunching in Europe and Russia's solo trying to still be a thing, it was obvious that Medtronic was trying to tap into this patch space to meet the needs of so many people with diabetes, like myself, who just do not want a tube pump, who want the pod or patch style insulin pump. Sadly, in the recent filing, Medtronic said that EOFLOW breached their agreement on more than one occasion and they pulling out of the deal, cancelling their acquisition of the patch. So what's next? Well, following the news, Metronic's media team was very quick to comment that Metronic is still committed to delivering a patch experience and is developing a patch pump in-house. Now, while this might be a very interesting product that they come up with here, it will be a very long time before we see anything about this in-house patch project because obviously they've been focusing on this EOFLOW patch all this time. So they basically started from scratch. Now, judging on their history of their in-house R&D with, you know, quite slow development of their CGM over the last decade or so, and arguably most of their recent hits actually being developed externally from the InPen to Metronic 780G algorithm, which is actually not made by Metronic, is made by an Israeli company called DreamMed. You know, it will probably take the in-house team a long time to come up with something interesting here. So the bottom line is, if you are expecting a patch pump from Metronic soon, I am really, really sorry to say that that's not going to happen. I know you guys are very disappointed in this. I am very disappointed in this news as well, because I was really hoping to see Metronic finally stepping up and delivering that tubeless experience for people with diabetes. It should be noted that the tubed pumps are about to get the biggest redesign ever with the 8 series, which Metronic previewed at ADA. They are finally scrapping the iPod-like design for a no-screen, fully phone-controlled pump design that is going to be the foundation of the entire 8 series. Obviously we had the 6 series, the 600 series with the 640G, 670G which was the first hybrid closed loop. The 7 series, the 700 series was basically the same design as the 600 series with no changes apart from Bluetooth which enabled phone connectivity and ultimately Apple Watch integration. Well, the 8 series is a complete redesign 
and it looks like they basically designed a pump all around the insulin reservoir. It is actually a novel idea and it's something we really haven't seen before and it could be quite a big hit for Medtronic when they deliver it. Timelines are unknown and they say and it's still in development but it will be an interesting one to watch. This 8 series pump combined with their new CGM which they just launched which I'm trying to get my hands on, hopefully I will do a video about it at some point. It's looking to be a really promising hybrid closed loop system for those of you thinking of a tube pump in, in, in the medium term. So the bottom line is Medtronic's patch is not coming anytime soon. Now EOFlow obviously is going to continue operating as, as its own company, just not within the Medtronic family. Now trying to be slightly positive here, in the long run I do think this might actually drive some real innovation in the space because when they started from scratch with their tube pumps and just came up with this idea of making a pump around a reservoir, you know, that's very novel actually, we haven't seen that from anyone else. If they just started from scratch now on making a patch pump, they might have a similar, you know, new approach that we might be surprised by. So I think, you know, looking at this five years down the line, this might drive some new innovation that we haven't seen from Omnipod, Akucheck Solo, or the T-Sport, but we can only judge that in around five years time. So that's my video. Let me know what you think about this news down below. And also let me know what you think about the eight series of pumps. Are you excited for those? Any questions, let me know and I will try my best to get answers for you. This is my last video of 2023. So I just wanted to end by saying thank you so much for not just this year, but all of the support I've, I've, I've received over the many, many years. This year was particularly special for me uh, with my recognition with JDRF. I had the pleasure of meeting Her Majesty the Queen, uh, something I never thought happened when I started this YouTube channel six years ago. So I just wanted to say massive, massive, massive thank you for being part of this. And uh, if you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. However you celebrating it alone with friends, family, have a lovely time. And Happy New Year for 2024 and I will see you in January with loads of new ideas and exciting videos. Have a wonderful time. Cheerios!